It's been a few days, and Ben Sports News still hasn't made contact with Dr. Benji FM. He's starting to be concerned. All right. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Where is he? Not here again. Three days running now. Something must be really wrong. It's Beyonce really having twins. Questions we all want answers. To be honest, I haven't got any answers. I'm not heard from him. He's not phoned. He's not text. Not done anything. So, um, you know, after I checked his Twitter, not been that active on Twitter since he was giving out false information on transfer deadline day. But apart from that, little happening. So until we know more, I'll be driving myself to work. I'm sure at some point it'll pop up though. You know, by roadside, at a bus stop, you know, outside a football ground. I don't know. So, um, I guess we'll just wait and see, won't we? On the plus side, though, has given me somewhere to uh, to put these bad boys. So, you know, could be could be worse, couldn't it? I mean, whatever. You never even been in a playoff. Oh, should we knock you out? Okay, there's no need for you two to. Sorry, you just caught me with the trophies that were previously won, including the division, do our first division league title, and the cup of the name of which I can't remember. But enough about these. We're not playing for these today. We are though in the Irish Leinster Senior Cup. Woohoo! And they might think, what does the trophy look like for a, for a tournament such as this against Bohemians? Well, I think you'll find it's this little, this little chalet thing. Looks a bit like a shed, but I can confirm it's a beach chalet. So, it's on offer because it's senior. If you're old, you will live in one of these. That wasn't a threat, by the way. Just for anyone thinking, well, I'm not, I don't want to be old then. I'm not actually sure what this is doing on my desk it serves no purpose there used to be a little seagull in the top but football manager okay sorry now if you didn't see last episode i do recommend you go and watch it maybe just the, the last five minutes so you can understand the mindset going into today now since we last met in the 2-4 2-4 defeats um to galway and shamrock things have gone yeah so we bounced back as predicted we beat galway united quite easily or galway united quite easy galway it's galway someone have to comment i remember uh, we beat galway 2-1 in the senior challenge cup second round that's i mean there'll be another round of that soon I sh i'm sure uh, we lost to dundalk in uh, the league cup quarter final disappointing because we were holders of that tournament i mean in many ways we won't have to give this back, which would be... Oh, it would be awful. Uh, we then lost to them 4-1 in the league. I mean, they beat us twice, pretty handedly, it's fair to say. They've got Leon Best. It's not fair. 2-2 uh, against Derry City. Sort of stopped the rot for a little bit uh, in the league. And then a 3-1 win against Sligo. For some reason, I keep saying Slingo, which is not... There's no end there. Sligo Rovers, 3-1. Uh, and a 3-1 win over Longford, who are pretty poor in the context of this division. So, a uh, win expected. And we've kind of recovered the situation, sort of, slightly. I noticed that Shamrock Rovers at the top there have only lost one game, which is curious. Ah, yes, we were beating them 2-0. That's correct. Ah, yes, that, and then, yes, I remember now. You can see there, Chris Lyons with 16 goals has been banging for him. If you just look at this again, you can see uh, a goal there, a couple for him there, and he's been scoring. Well, he's actually scored the last four games. My word, there we are. Uh, today, then, the Linster Cup Senior Final. I've changed the words around, but it's still the same thing. And uh, then they're against Wrexham Youths in the league, hopefully to push the sort of the end of season push to glory. That's the, that's the idea. That is the idea. Now, if it doesn't happen today, if we don't win the this then uh it's been a disappointing couple of episodes hasn't it now we're playing bohemians today who are eighth in the division i mean they're, they're, they're 11 points behind it's a game really we should win and uh, let's introduce you then to the team so the team for today's game is going to be skinner in goal burn buckley's going to come in because he cost me so much money uh he needs to play next to him at fit simons on the left back spot we've then got to dim the lights on the right hand side. i mean let's just change it to dim the lights it's a bit wordy but it's fine. Right, to in the lights, playing on the right side. Sinnott in the middle, and Subawali on the left-hand side. Porter, as an advanced playmaker, you'll notice that's a change from before. Um, we've basically, we've had an injury to Joshua Hanlon, which has thrown everything out the window. He's out for a few more weeks as well. Um, we've had to play two sort of pacier strikers. There's been a little change in system as well because of that. And uh, as a result, Porter now plays an advanced playmaker instead of a shadow striker. Lions and Afolobi. Uh, 
will play up front as a sort of the pacey uh, forward men. Now, the reason the change has happened is we're going slightly more direct. Uh, we're still going to keep everything relatively the same, but rather than trying to sort of keep possession and play more mixed passes, we're going to get more direct. We've got pace up front. It makes more sense. Don't try and play the same sort of game, uh, working it into the box and such from sort of passing it round. Get them in behind. You know, they're, they're quick strikers, but get them running. Uh, I'll tell you now, Ryan McAvoy was close to playing today, but his morale has taken a hit. So I'm not interested in his want to play. We're going to just play with the players that are up for this, even if they're not quite as good. I will regret that soon. So here we are then, a cup final. The Irish Linster Senior Cup. I've, I've cut for an Irish to watch as a boy. No, I, didn't, I didn't. I've never. I've never even heard of it. But. This is the joys of a journeyman. So they're playing a 4-3-3 formation. Uh, North up front. Danny North. Oh, he seems dangerous. Actually, mentally very good. Physically, not too bad. And 13 finishing. Someone to be aware of. Uh, they've got Duffy on this left-hand side. Very pacey. Right-footed as well. Let's make sure we show him onto his weaker foot, actually. Let's keep that. Let's see what the assistant says. Right, we're going to show that Danny North onto his weaker foot. We're also going to do the same to Rory Gaffney on the other side. If the delivery in isn't as good, that could be fine for us. Uh, Danny North also... Not the quickest, so let's, let's close down at every opportunity. Okay, let's uh, let's just give this team talk a little bit more oomph, and if we can get the strikers happy, then, ah, well, it was nearly a full house. Okay, we need to bounce back. After the disappointment of yesterday, it's time to bounce back. It, it, look, things happen in football. Yesterday was a fine example of that. Today we'll show that we're a good side, a capable side. We've won two in a row after a little bit of a dodgy patch. Um, today is, you know, it's a different day. Let's not assume... Things like yesterday can't happen today, because they can, but let's just be hopeful. All right, first chance of the, I mean, for good, North's through on goal, North, it's a good save. Did he, I mean, can he run? Can, uh, was he just, oh, well, I'm never going to get there, so i just walk. Like, what was that? Anyway, 20 minutes gone, they've had a clear-cut chance, that was a clear-cut chance, I think we'll all agree. Now, we're in attacking here, free kick from Fitzsimons, oh my, I did, know he, I did not know he had that in his locker. What is his free kick taking? Danny Fitzsimmons. Simons, don't know why I did that, with six free kick taken, that's just banged in a beauty, let's take a look at it. Okay, so he steps up, we've changed the camera angle from uh, behind goal close, just to, uh, oh, yeah, behind goal close to just the close camera angle. Oh, look, I oh, mind that, he's doing it, I mean, he's been watching players from around the world pull it off. Diego Costa was doing it recently, everyone's doing it. I should say, I did check in at NUO, the Ukrainian team, uh, Diego Costa, remember that player I bought and then couldn't play? He's their best player now, so uh, I've done well for them. Uh, for those interested in Sumi Pankota, by the way, uh, got relegated, came back up, got relegated again. So it's not just my fault. Right, I'm happy with the performance so far. Keep it up. Although I don't, I don't want to get complacent. I was warned of that yesterday. Um, you weren't that bad, but I still think you can improve. That's what we'll go with. So while I'm very happy with the performance, I still think there's areas in which we can continue to improve. That's perfect. That is what you want from a team talk. Now, it's not like me to take a lead and then bin it off so let's just let's just hope we get another goal in the second half to dim the lights plays it into porter chris Lyons now is in fine form can he score in five in a row that's the big question i feel a b to dim the lights oh yes i mean i feel like when he scores we just turn that off and just sort of sit in a sort of the natural light coming through the curtains so you can see here porter i feel a b plays it into to dim the lights and uh there we are. What a, what a goal. 2-0 in a cup final. I mean, I said yesterday, I'm a little bit indifferent on him. I'm not sure what he offers, but if he's offering goals, I'm very happy to take his his presence of that. Right, we're still on attacking. It's going pretty well. No need to change. I mean, that's what I said yesterday at 2-0. Um, but if we, like, this was the point, though. If you stay attacking with a 2-0 lead and you get the third, everything's looking lovely. That, that's what I'm hoping for right now. As Porter whips the ball in, it's cleared towards to dim the lights. Now, if the ball goes over the top here, we might be in a spot of bother. Our line is a little bit all over the place. We look at right now, though, as North goes through on goal. North pulls it back. <gasps> oh, that's, that, let's take that as a lesson. Let's go to the counter-attack. I had a saying in the Palmer save, which was, if in doubt, go Italian. Go defensive. Now, we're not at that stage yet, but if they have another chance, that will, be, will go Italian. They're about to have another chance, aren't they? North is finding all sorts of space. North with a, sh a shot on goal. We'll go defensive. And you might think, Ben, you invited on some pressure here. And you'd be right to think that, but we're taking that risk. We'll probably score now, now that now this has happened, proving that yesterday was a complete mess. Uh, Porter, instances in the lights. He's been fouled, referee, get the cards out. Where is it? Hang on. He's, he's been shown red. Mark Fitz, Mark Fitz, he's been shown red. I've got, I mean, any any time necessary, I've got stuff ready. 2-0, time's ticking down, and oh my, 
Here we go. It's the it's the Irish Linster Senior Cup. It's Chris Lyons. He's banged it over the bar, but there it is. Winners. I mean, I can barely hold all of the tro. I'm just we're, we're winning. This is the third trophy in the series. I mean, we're a trophy machine right now. Look at that. Right then, two 0 We're absolutely loving life, and uh, yeah, couldn't be more pleased. I mean, I, I should say, what a collection. What, we're going to have to put up some shelves in the, in the motorhome, I tell you, because these need a place to stay. Although we might have to lose this one if we've technically not retained it. Right then, what a good start to an episode. I've never seen the like of it. Oh, I should say, as I've just been reminded from the fact we've received £6,000 for winning that. Ka-ching. Uh, the board gave us 85000 It's made a it's made a bore, made loads of difference. Uh, and also, we're in a transfer window. Now, while we're in a transfer window, and I've not actually bought anybody in yet, I've made a couple of offers for a couple of players. Let's take let's you through a few of them. Uh, David O'Sullivan, the first one, striker from Galway. I'm indifferent on whether we need him or not. 31 years of age, a bit more experience, but because with the injury to Hanlon, I do worry about him now. Uh, he's not he's not really a similar sort of player either, but he's an extra option and uh, looks very well-rounded for this division. Another player, we've actually bid money for, 4.9 thousand. We got a little bit of transfer budget. I said we'd finish bid table. We got 13 thousand to spend. Um, I've gone for Avro de Santos. Doesn't sound like a player that should play in Ireland, but uh, the Englishman was released from Bromley, currently at Sligo Rovers, and uh, yeah, I, th I think he could be a lovely little option. 14 free kick taken. Looks pretty well-rounded in that attacking midfield position. Of course, we've got players there. Owen Porter plays there, but to have another option off the bench, someone like this, who looks like he will improve as well. He's currently only a, a three-star player with, with some ability there, some potential there. I mean, I'm excited. I think if we can get him in as well, what an option. I mean, and the reason I bring this up is that the offer's, oh, the offer's been accepted. We're on the old uh, transfer, or the transfer, sorry, the contract negotiations. He wants a pound if he doesn't play. Deal. Now, I could probably have negotiated that, but, you know, my, my kind of theory is I'm not going to be here for ages. So let's just get in the best players that we can. It's a nice a feeling to win a competition. Do you know what? I'll do all this this nonsense and I'll see you again for the next game in the league. Work some youth. Let's bring it on. Oh, interestingly, highest gate receipts we've ever had there. Uh, very nice indeed. 55,000 was brought in. I mean, we're knocking off the debt left, right and centre. We're not. We're not knocking any debt off anywhere. So is that played at our ground? I do feel like that's an advantage. It was. Yeah, that is our ground. Um, doesn't seem fair, does it? D do I care? No, I don't. That's the back of it. That's the... It's a money box. Oh! There's nothing in it, so... Yeah. I've been showing it to you like that, never even noticed, so brilliant. Okay, folks, welcome back. Couple of changes to the team since our last game. Wrexham Youth, the opposition, as mentioned. Uh, Nolan's going to come in at the back instead of Lloyd Buckley, who's struggled for fitness a little bit, doesn't seem fully capable of starting today's game. And uh, Gorman, Reese Gorman, comes into the centre because of a suspension to Paul Sinner. So, a few changes. Won't change too much, I don't think, though. And uh, probably actually in the middle, improves our quality slightly. So, we go again, same team as before, and uh, hopefully another win. Now, we sit in fourth, three points behind Cork City in third. Now, for Top four potentially can get into Europe, but third place almost guarantees it. It sort of depends on cup wins and things like that. Um, not the cup we just won, just to clarify. So uh, hopefully we can get back into that top three and maybe make a push for a title. Although Shamrock has mentioned, we lost one game this season. Would have lost two. Would have lost two if it wasn't for... Uh, forget about it, Ben. Move on. All right, I have faith in you. Go out there. Make a difference. It should say positive difference. Really? Okay, league table on the left, match stats on the right. Keep your eyes focused everywhere. I do this occasionally, maybe, if it makes you feel good. I feel fantastic. Just going to have a look at the goal differences. I mean, Leon Best's banging them in, isn't he, for Dundalk? Ridiculous. Now, they've got an O'Connor, I notice, on this side. As uh, the ball's played in, full on at the front post. Seven minutes gone, eight minutes gone. Danny Furlong with the first goal of the game. 1-0 down. <sighs> I guess we we are kind of forgetting, and I, I did s somewhat forget this last time around, right, that we're newly promoted, and you, you kind of forget that because our squad's quite good and because we went on such a good run. It's a bit miracly, in it? Because we're, we're newly promoted. We're not expected to be, in the, maybe not even in the top half, but I guess based on the start we had and the middle sort of patch of form... I expected that a little bit more as the ball's fired forward to O'Connor. That name is causing me all sorts of problems. Furlong's in again here, and... I, th I feel like being attacking there has hurt us. Tw I mean, 20 minutes to go and they're 2-0 up. Can we hit them with the reverse reverse? That would be something. Now, of course, we were 2-0 up yesterday. Then it all went to, to pop. Let's see if we can uh, flip reverse on your baby, which sounds like some, like an arrestable offence, doesn't it? When you just put it like that. You get away from my child. You're like, oh, are you qualified to be with kids? 
It's a bit like that, isn't it? But on your baby. I don't think it actually means baby. I think it means a woman. Connor Byrne has just uh, gone through Kinsella there, almost needlessly. Let's hope he, he remains on the pitch. But there is a highlight at the end of this half, and it's not a free kick in our favour. As the ball's pumped in, to dim the lights, gets ahead on it. But George puts it back forward. Kinsella's... Oh, it's 3-0. It's a demolition job. We can't get a run going. That's the problem. Goal difference has taken a hit. We're now very firmly a mid-table side, which is just disappointing. Kinsella then threw on goal... He's hit it off the post. He's not respected the equipment, but he's not being punished. So, yeah. So, at half-time, we're going to need some kind of Istanbul-esque comeback. Um, I don't... Oh, let's think of a plan. Now, don't have any wingers on the bench. We've got four defenders and Johnny English. So, he's on. What else can we do, maybe? Right, James O'Brien on one side. Subawali is going to come off for Ryan McAvoy. Slightly more creative midfield now. Um, we've changed that up a little bit as well in terms of positionally. I'm going to drop Gorman back, play more of a diamond. Advanced playmaker on O'Brien. Let's just see. A little change here. We might as well change something, right? Because we're sitting here getting smashed right now. So let, let's see if Johnny English can make an impact. Okay, forward to this right-hand side. O'Brien back to Porter. Shot on goal. I tell you what, six minutes in, uh, this is this is how it happened all those years ago. This could be the same thing. Burn into O'Brien then. Just slots it across to Porter. Great first touch. Lovely second touch. I mean, it is the finish, but really is a good finish. Left-footed. Past the goalkeeper. 3-1. I'm bizarrely optimistic. Okay, time is time is just ticks down there. Uh, unbelievable level. Aggressively, show some passion. I'm not sure how that's going to help anybody, but we'll, maybe that's the trick. Maybe we won a cup final. We had a drunken night. These things happen. They're forward on that side. Now, I should say, that McAvoy, just, he just put the... Okay, that McAvoy, who just put the ball in, is indeed the same one I had at the Swindon lot. The, the Gareth Bale look about like He shouldn't be in this division, should he? There he is, look, on this left side. Lovely ball in. Is this a good finish, or...? It's the calmest thing I've ever seen. I was hoping it wouldn't be. 4-1 down. I don't remember Barry Seymour getting a fourth, actually. Now, now I think about it. We're down to seventh. It's been a disappointment. Connor Byrne launches it forward towards Chris Lyons. I mean, there's a there's not long to go. Can Johnny English? I mean, a turn of pace. Oh, it's such a disappointing end. Now, well, I think what we'll do as uh, as this game comes towards an end is we'll play through again quite a lot of games. Depending on how those games go, how we do it, I think, I think we're still in the cup competition as well. Uh, we'll sort of come back probably towards the end of the season. It looks as if... We're not going to be in that top three conversation. Maybe things can change, and, we, and I don't think we're going to get relegated. So it's going to be very mid-table. So I'm going to play through a little bit more than I would normally, get towards sort of the final three games of the season, potentially bring you that tomorrow as a Friday episode. And, uh, yeah, that's how we'll end the season. It makes the most sense to me, I think, because it, otherwise we're just sort of aimlessly in mid-table playing games and I feel like otherwise we're not going to progress this much quicker so uh, yeah next episode will be towards the end of the season so we beat we get beat 4-1 by Wexham Youths who are where are they? I've just said I'm pleased with the performance I'm not am I? now there are Wexham there look just just in ninth position so of course they are of course they are and they're capable of beating us 4-1 are they? superb Oh, by one just coming up. That's only three points. So there they are then. A topsy turvy run of fixtures. It has to be said, our form. I mean, we've gone from being sort of quite inconsistent with wins to having an all sorts of sort of messy. Oh, it's just a shambles. Okay. But if you've enjoyed this video, please do leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. And we love with care for this video. I'll see you again very soon. As I say, if you like the video, like the video. If you didn't, just refresh it and give it another go. It might be better second time around.